Hi, welcome to Hope in the Light of Suicide. John didn't count me down. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Uh, I just really have to say, I mean, hats off to uh, to John and uh, Area Fifty Two Media Group. I just love the intro to our show, and it really it it helps me get ready for to do the show. So it's really good, but. Anyway, I kind of I don't know the drill after three years. <laughs> so one of our sponsors, of course, uh, Area Fifty Two Media Group. Um, if you want to do your own podcast, do I mean do what I'm doing? Um, you know, not exactly what I'm doing, but um, please um, get a hold of Area Fifty Two Media Group because seriously, they're really awesome and they can help you get set up and do this. I would have never in my wildest dreams or nightmares figured I'd be number one doing the show when we started the show three years ago, let alone now um, where we're at, uh, being able to um, do the show from the foundation office. It just, it's just really great, really great. And one of our other sponsors, of course, is Dylan Gaston with The Mortgage Firm. Anything mortgages, you have any questions, this Girl has so much knowledge um, about the mortgage business and can really help anybody out from first time home buyers to you want to refinance or just anything mortgages, please um, get a hold of Dylan Gaston. Um, she helped me, they helped me out when uh, we did some refinance. Um, but, anyways, awesome and an awesome person too. So, um, it's been quite a week. Uh, I guess uh, last week on the show um, was just around the anniversary of uh, 32 years that Bobby and I had had moved here to Newport Ritchie, and and of course um, April 8th is the anniversary of his death, which we just had <clears throat> that anniversary. But and on the same day was the the new moon eclipse. Um, really kind of weird that's what i took from my camera of course you didn't see i couldn't i didn't have the right filters but i kind of did this backwards and um i just thought it was a really cool picture from from the eclipse and so i just kind of chilled most of the day watched the eclipse off and on um I ha was going to start to do um, some different things. So I had in my plan to go to um, a couple networking meetings. and But then as the day approached Sunday night, and, uh, I just was like, nah, I think I'm just going to just stay home and chill. I don't mind being by myself. And that was my better choice for me, um, for my mental health. Um, it um yeah i just i i couldn't do what i had planned to do but that's okay as i just i just wasn't ready i was i was ready for what i did um and my first phone call was my neighbor for her <laughs> answer the phone mental health check <laughs> so she always checks up on me and um i don't know i don't i don't know what i would have done uh, without having her as a neighbor to helped me get through this the last eight years and bobby's buddy cj out in um denver called i've been remiss and i told him you know i'm so sorry because i just the last six months i haven't um kept up with calling him i even missed his birthday but um it's it's great when um when people you know call you and just to remember, you know. Um, <clears throat> so Sunday, usually at this time of year, I refresh Bobby's garden. My aunt and I did this project uh, seven years ago. Um, the first time we dedicated a memorial garden, and it's where this oak tree is in between the house and the cottage. And so Sunday, that's what I did, was clean that out and um, replanted fresh plants. and the uh little fish planter there uh, my nephew gave it to me uh for christmas one year his family bobby loved fishing 
And then on the other side is um, the little, yeah, that's that. And I, <laughs> I added the little dragons this year. I thought those were cute. I don't know if Bobby would think about that, but anyways. Then on the other side, of course, is the, the memorial plaque that, that I had made up and a little angel that I had found at Lowe's with a cardinal on it. Um, I didn't go with bigger plants this year, so um, it kind of looks a little sparse in places, but all those, hopefully all those begonias and some of the other plants that survived the year um, will fill in. I get to go out and water it every day. So that's my little quiet time and reminiscing time, but um, it was, it's always good to do that. That's, I've done that every year usually on the day on the anniversary date but since i thought i was gonna go out and be social i did it the day this day before but that's okay it was all ready and so i just got to water it on that day but um yeah it's it's weird it's uh, eight years on the eighth a full moon eclipse but yeah, it's kind of weird. But new moons are um, supposed to signify fresh, new beginnings, fresh beginnings. And I'm really, really trying to work on that um, for myself and for everything else, for everything that we're doing here at the foundation, too. Um, we've got a, a lot of really cool things going on. Um, I had mentioned we're we're gonna start. I think we're May. I think it's May sixteenth is going to be our first um, support group for suicide loss survivors, and um, that's been in the works for a while since well, December. I went to the training, and <clears throat> we're gonna meet at um, the event center at the Gulf View Score Mall. Start out, we'll see, you know, how the participation goes. Um, I want it to be an uplifting kind of, I know it sounds weird, but an uplifting support group is, I have went to support groups before. I think last week I mentioned I would, my mother-in-law and I would go to one um, for MS when we first moved up here. And it was just the most depressing thing in the world. And I would, did try to go to one when I was, um, when I lost my first husband, Michael, um, in Fort Lauderdale. But at that time, um, I was only 26 and all the support groups were, <laughs> what I thought at that time were for old people because they were all in their 60s, 70s, and 80s. And here I am <laughs> in my early 60s. And, um, but things have changed a lot and we don't have a suicide specific support group here in Pasco County. There are two in Pinellas County and, um, we're working on, I did finally get a hold of the couple over in Dade City. Our, our county is, is ginormous. And so me and, and my friend Teresa will be facilitating this support group. Um, on the west side of the county and hopefully the couple that uh was at in attendance with the um training that i was at in in december will hopefully soon be able to start up a group on the west side of the county um i guess he's had a few health issues so they they've been delayed in starting that group up over there um and then I have a meeting in a couple of weeks with a, a gal that I know from AFSP, American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, in Hernando County. And we're, I'm going to co-facilitate a support group up there. Um, I don't know when that is happening. And of course, I didn't turn off my phone, <laughs> my appointment that I had to reschedule. <laughs> anyway, so we have a lot of... The, are a lot of things like that beginning to happen and um which is a really positive positive thing we've been able to to share this information with um 
other groups that um, we are partners with, um, like Zero Suicide Partners of Pinellas County, Zero Suicide Partners of Hillsborough County, um, the Acute Care, Pasco Acute Care, and our um, SAFE um, under the Alliance for Healthy Communities here in Pasco County, um, our suicide it's not a support group, our, whatever you call it. Anyway, it's another, um, it's a bunch of organizations that work all coming together to help battle this thing. So um, we've been able to share that information with them. And um, the last week, last week we had our first, um, mental health first aid class that we partnered with Baycare and we had it here in Pasco County out at the Hilton Garden Inn who's always a great support for us and see I got my mental health first aid certificate actually I just took the test this morning but anyways um that was so well attended it and everybody's feedback was just it was awesome um our instructor Tracy Daniels, he was absolutely phenomenal. Um, the way he engaged the class, I think there were maybe a little over 25 of us and just the way he engaged the class and, and made it easy to learn. And it, it, I do have to say it was a little triggering for a few of us and, but, he did warn us that that was a real possibility. Um, I know there were were times that it was tough for me, and and I and I know a couple a couple other people that had um, some difficult times. But even still, while feeling you know those kind those emotions and stuff, um, it was still. A, a huge learning experience it really was and this is something that i completely recommend that anybody takes i mean every adult should take a class like this um when i introduce it um to organizations or groups of people i always just say well if you have family friends co-workers or employees you need to take this class. It is, it is phenomenal. It is a long day, you know. It's almost eight, eight hours, but the knowledge and the information, and it's easy to retain. Um, you walk away with so much more understanding and and tools to to help you if you find your, yourself in a situation dealing with somebody who's who's having i mean almost any type of um issues it, you i don't know how how to how to word it, it it's not a training to so that for you to diagnose anybody it's it's not anything like that it it's a training to um show you what to to look out for how to talk to people in certain situations how to direct them towards the help that they need um you're just you're just the first aider trying trying to get them to someone that can actually help them um and it like i said it's just a, f a phenomenal um training course so it was so well received and we had several people um, contact me that they wanted to take the class, but they couldn't do it on that day. And um, I actually, when I was looking for a location to hold it, um, I had contacted the college and um, they had to get back to me, but I have really, really great contacts now. And um, I had contacted the hotel because that's where we have Art for Hope and and the Hilton Garden Inn out there at the Sun Coast and Fifty Four are they are always tremendous, you know, for our organization. And once again, they were. Um, uh, we got the room and 
lunch was good. I just, I love the chef out there. He's just, he's just so great. And, um, everything ran smoothly. We had everything we needed. Um, it was, it was good. So, but before the class, um, the college got back to me and, uh, they were like, oh, you know, we want to do it. And I'm like, well, I already got a location and they're, you know, they're not charging us. And then the college was like, well, we weren't going to charge you either. Uh, so I already had this run through my head. You know, you know, we have like at least four people already that want to take the class. So I contacted Baycare and I, I knew that funds were running low. So I didn't know if we would be able to do it. And um, they came back to me last Wednesday, uh, the day after our class, the morning after our class, to let me know that we were approved for funding for another class. And um, so we're partnering again with Baycare and with Pasco Hernando State College to hold another mental health first aid class at the college. Um, I just, <laughs> excuse me, love our camp campus. And so it's going to be held in the conference center. And as soon as I get the flyer, I checked my emails um, earlier to see if I, we got the new flyer, but I haven't received it yet. So as soon as we get the new flyer, we'll get it up on. Um, I didn't even put the last one on the website because it went so fast and we really filled up. So I don't I. I think if we get it soon enough, I'll get it up on the website and it'll be on all our Facebook pages. But it is a local event. It is an in-person event. Um, so you need to be here, come here, and in order to take the class in person. Um, it, we did um, some role playing, some, you know, just the 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 tools that he used to teach us all this information was so good in, or, in order to help us really retain it. It made it really easy um, to retain all the information. So you do have to take a, a you can get, you, you get certified with this, but you have to register for, through the foundation in order to take the class for free. And um, otherwise it's a hundred dollar charge, but we get this really, we get this book and um, after the class, you go online and take a test. It was, it was really good. And the test is like, I don't know, about a half an hour. Like I said, I, I took it um, and uh, I was pretty confident with all my answers and then I did pretty good. I got a hundred percent. So I was pretty happy about that. So I wanted to make sure that I had gone in and, and done it so that anybody that um, was in our class, if they have issues logging on or trying to figure it out, um, then I can help them uh, in case they need help um, getting their certification, which is good for three years. So I'm glad that we, we did that and we can offer that to the community. So like I said, if you can find anything like this in your community, please participate and bring the information to the community. Um, like I said, our feedback was phenomenal. And uh, um, I am, I'm really happy that we were able to, to bring this to our community. And so hopefully, if we can help out um, Baycare with some of the funding, I haven't got approved yet, but I did a letter, letter of intent with um, United Way of Pasco County to see if we can get some extra funds um, to do this again next year, like maybe two classes next two classes next year, spread it out a little bit more, but that's what my hope is. So. Um, so we can get more people, more people to learn and not to be afraid and not to be afraid of talking to people and asking them questions. Um, like, yeah, it was good. 
So, um, and it, it kind of helped me get getting into this mindset and coming into um, this time of year. Uh, we, I was at an acute care meeting um, with Pasco County and we got the suicide numbers for March. We had four suicides that were, this is reported from the sheriff's office. So we have two other reporting agencies that I don't have the information from, but you know, we still are, you know, if you what a way to look at it, we one suicide per week. And sometimes it's more. January was nine. Um, I don't know what the February numbers were. Um, it's good to see the numbers a little bit lower um, in March. And I hope April goes the same because typically um, springtime is um, there's a spike in suicides. They don't know why. Um, it's you know, everybody thinks it's, you know, the holidays, which that also is a high time for people to um, experience depression and mental issues. But for some reason, spring happens to be, be just, I don't know, a time of year. And it doesn't make sense, at least to me, because it's beautiful out. And this was the time of year, you know, this was the time of year that Bobby really loved because he was a land surveyor. He worked outside. Um, it was a beautiful, you know, beautiful time of year. Um, it, it is now. It was eight years ago. And, uh, but, you know, the, you, you got to keep an eye on your people. Everybody does. So, <clears throat> In, you know, still, you know, getting things arranged here with uh, getting his garden done and starting to do more things on the house, got the living room painted. So there's a lot of changes and really putting, um, going out of my comfort zone. Um, joined the center club down in Tampa. I was at a, a cocktail mixer. Uh, Thursday night and met some really great guys. Um, both are veterans. Um, so we're starting to get um, a lineup for guests for our upcoming shows. Um, one of them is a, um, he started a, a nonprofit um, to help um, veterans and his, he loves golf and that's what helped him. And so I'm, I got to hook him, hooking him up with uh, my friend, Michelle at the VA and, um, met another young man and he attempted a couple times and, um, just an amazing young guy and has such a bright outlook on life now. And he, he's just, he's so, he's even amazed at himself and I'm, you know, I'm happy for him because he, he gets up every day now and just he thinks about where he was you know just a few years ago and how grateful he is to be alive he, he said the high about of being alive is so much better because of where he was before and i i told him i <laughs> i was like you know i am just so happy that you are still here and and he was so appreciative of just that comment. So, um, yeah, you know, we're here to help each other and lift each other up. My organization can't do it alone. All the other organizations can't do it alone. We got to all work together so that we can help, you know, people in our community and, and help each other. You now help each other in ways that some people just weren't able to get the help so i put together um a collage of some pictures of bobby and um, pictures of bobby and i just you know to remember you know this thing does not discriminate this can happen to anybody it doesn't matter your race how much money you make where you live 
this I never would have thought would be this is a face of suicide and um, we want to make a difference he he had one bad day he was a phenomenal man um, when I was at the acute care meeting today um, she acknowledged Bobby and um, I was so grateful for that so my quote for today is, my quote for today is, <laughs> I should have wrote it down too. I got to love you and it may not have been for as long as I had wished for, but I got to love you. I got to love your sense of humor, your smile, and the way it would light up every single room you entered. I got to love your kindness, generous heart. I got to love you and I will always be thankful for that. So remember to put these numbers in your phone, have them available. You never know when you're going to need them. Um, and it's better to have them. I, we even did it at our mental health class uh, for the people who didn't have them. So just remember, there's always hope. And I love you, Bobby. Thank you.